had a beautiful day. Now that horse runs really well in the mud, but we've got a fairly dry track today. But at the Preakness, they are going to be treated with something that is going to be absolutely spectacular. Before the Preakness starts, they're going to be treated to a flyover that we saw today of the United States Air Force's Heritage flight. In front of you, the P-51 Mustang flown by retired Navy Captain Dale Snort Snodgrass. On the roll next is the F-22 Raptor, piloted by Major Zeke Skelitsky. There's the F-22 Raptor from Langley Air Force Base. And then on the takeoff roll from Shaw Air Force Base, down in Sumter, South Carolina, Captain Ryan, Ryan Corrigan in the Lockheed Martin F-16 Fighting Falcon. I was close. Gentlemen, get your cameras on this. Here we have the three Heritage flight pilots inbound right now. In aircraft number one, the P-51 Mustang, known as the Cadillac of the Skies, retired Navy Captain Dale Snort Snodgrass. Then the F-16 Fighting Falcon from Shaw Air Force Base. Captain Ryan, right in Corrigan. And the F-22 Raptor, a fifth generation fighter. Talk about the vectored thrust. Of the F-22. Oh, I should say the ABAB Harrier and the F-22 also has vectored thrust up and down some 20 degrees, I believe, with its exhaust, enabling it to do things that no other airplane in the world can do. And I hope you got to see it earlier prior to the Heritage flight. They landed, turned around, did their fly over, flyover over the Preakness states. We'll see if Super Saber was, uh, was going to win the Preakness. Don't know if they've run the race or not, but we'll soon find out. Our air boss up in the tower is Wayne Boggs. One of the premier air bosses in all of North America. And he's been the air boss here at Andrews for a number of years, as well as traveling all across the country. In addition to his former FAA duties, when he was a controller for the FAA in Chicago and all over the country, during the 1996 Olympics, Wayne Boggs was in charge of all the airspace over the Atlanta area during the 96 Summer Olympics. And if I'm saying Wayne Boggs and that sounds familiar to you, he is the brother of Baseball Hall of Famer Wade Boggs. So we've got uh, got some pretty, uh, pretty impressive folks here working the show from both the military and the civilian standpoint. And uh, sure glad to say hello to our air boss. Uh, Wayne Boggs up there in the tower, and let's see if we can say a quick hello to him up there, up in the tower, see if we can get him to say hi to all you folks who are here. And Air Boss Air Show announcer. Nope, he's on. And Air Boss Air Show announcer, want to say hello to the folks in the crowd. Now, I think he's busy up there. I think he doesn't want to talk to the crowd today. Well, he'll be back. He'll be uh, working hard throughout the time that the Blue Angels finish. There's the Raptor. We've got three airplanes down. We're going to launch Greg Poe from Boise, Idaho in the Fagan ethanol-powered MX2. And we've given him the airspace, and uh, 
I'm going to hand things over to my buddy Dax Wanless.